everybody welcome back to another vlog and welcome to my channel if you are new here i feel like this is becoming a bit of a regular occurrence me starting the vlog looking like a mess but it's fine <laughs> it's just real life you know i literally probably spend like probably like 70 percent of time without any makeup on whatsoever so i thought i would do another vlog just because everybody seemed to really enjoy my last vlog that was just like at home chilling not really doing very much um, so I thought I would do another one. Um, so today I'm actually heading off into town because I have a facial booked. Um, it is at somewhere called Face Gym, um, which is, I think it's more of like a, kind of like an exercise for your face. So I will show you guys that because I'm really fascinated by it. Um, but before I go, I'm going to clean my face properly. Obviously I took my makeup off last night, but I like to do it in the morning as well. I'm going to clean my face properly and everything so it's all ready for my facial. Um, so, you guys know I've been using the Luna Mini 2, like, literally for probably almost a year now, um, and I've been absolutely loving it, it's a great product, it really, really helps to get all of the makeup off of your face, so like I said, I did take my makeup off last night, but if there's anything else, um, left on there, or just any sort of, like, dirt or bacteria that's built up overnight, um, then this little baby is the best thing to get it off, so I'm going to use it with my Espar cleanser, which is really filthy, um, so first thing, I'm just going to wet my face. pop the cleanser onto the Luna Mini 2. It also just really helps me kind of like get up in the morning just to feel like I'm starting my day in the right way. Um, yeah, I don't know, I just like always feel like it's a nice thing to do in the morning. Wake you up a little bit um, and yeah, obviously you know you have a nice clean face if you're gonna put some makeup on or um, like I said, I'm going for a facial so I want my face to be nice and clean already. So I will leave the link for the Luna Mini 2 down in the description box. Now I am just going to go and pop some moisturiser on and then get ready and go to town. Um, just sort out my very greasy hair right now. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like you guys just think I always look such a mess. So the moisturiser that I have been loving at the moment is the Clinique. Um, it's like the Moisture Surge Intense. I have really, really dry skin, so I find that this just works best to um yeah help that um it's kind of like oh it's got hair in there <laughs> it's kind of like a bit of a kind of like jelly like consistency um but also like creamy as well it's literally absolutely like tipping it down outside i've got velux windows in here so you might actually be able to hear it I really <laughs> struggled to get out of bed this morning when i could just hear the rain just like smashing against the windows but there we go i've just checked the weather forecast as well and it's literally raining all week um and it's like across the whole country as well so at least it's not just manchester because i think there was a time last week where it was like 11 degrees here and raining and down south was like 28 degrees or something and i was like oh, no <laughs> but it's fine right so that's all I'm going to do to my face. Um, actually, I'm going to put a little bit of eye cream on. Where is it? Just been using the Lancaster eye cream. Um, and then, yeah, we're going to head off into town. I also have like some returns to do in town. I need to go... Oh, what's that? I need to go to the post office. So it is just like a bit of an admin day, really. But we all need them once in a while. We went to our new house yesterday and we picked out some um, flooring for it. I should have filmed yesterday actually, I don't know why I didn't. Um, we picked out some flooring for it, we're going to go for like parquet wood flooring um, and we've had a look at some carpets and I need to go look at some paint colours I think, um, which I might do in this vlog actually. Um, what else did we do? Oh, we had a guy round to give us a quote for some shutters. So yeah, it was a productive day, um, but I didn't actually do any work because I was doing stuff for the house, so today it needs to be work, work, work. Um, probably go to the shops and get some food for later on, so yeah, let's head on into town now, have my facial and then see where we're at. I'll start showing my outfit really quickly, even though it's nothing too exciting, but I have this coat on which is from Mango, um, this little sweatshirt thing which is from Pretty Little Thing, and then these joggers which are ASOS, and then I have my Vegger trainers on um, and then in my hair I just had my little silk scrunchie uh, that's from Slip 
Um, so yeah, let's go. I need to take this stuff back there and we're good to go. I've just made it to um, the Trafford Centre, which I realise I say loads in my vlogs and I was just thinking people from Manchester would have no idea where that is. So it's basically the shopping centre. Um, it has like loads of shops in, it's got Selfridges in, um, it's got pretty much everything. Um, but the face gym is inside Selfridges, so yeah, I just made it here now. I'm going to spin you around because look at that weather. Ugh, miserable. <laughs> Sorry, this is turning into a weather report. Um, but yeah, so I've just got here now. I'm a little bit early, so I'm going to sit here and do some emails quickly. And then I'm going to head in. Very exciting. I'm really excited, actually. I'm really interested. I've seen um, stuff on people's stories, and it just seems to be like, like real, like... <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. We'll see when we're in there. But anyway, I'm going to get back to um, these emails and then um, head on in. to get into a call with my web designer because my blog is very nearly live um, so I thought you guys could sit on, on a bit of that and then I'm going to come back here and chat to you guys a little bit about what I had done earlier at the face gym because uh, it was so cool and really interesting so yeah I'm going to jump on this call now because Lucy's waiting for me and um, then I'll chat to you guys after. Hello? Hi! Hi yeah you alright? Yeah good thank you how are you? Can you hear me? Okay. I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, I'm all in. Yeah. You're all in? Uh-huh. Okay, good. So, you should... Uh, hold on, let me share my screen with you. Okay. You're the sweetest love I ever had And missing that is why I feel so sad I've been holding on in case there was something we could fix, but it's all over now. Yeah, it's all over now. So I have finished up my call. We were on the phone for about an hour. I'm just going to pop you here. Um, we were on the phone for about an hour, but we got loads done, and it looks like my blog is going to be ready to push live this week. Hopefully, fingers crossed. So I need to work hard at getting um, a load more blog posts up in there. I've written them all, but I just need to now put them into the site. Um, and it is four o'clock now, so I need to spend the next hour just catching up on emails that I missed uh, this morning and stuff. Um, so yeah, and like I said, I am gonna come and talk to you guys about my face, definitely, before I forget. Um, oh, it still feels really nice. 
<laughs> so yeah i'll catch up with you guys in just a second i am still sat at my desk i think the last time i spoke to you it was like four well it is now is that gonna show there we go 6 49 and i am still sat here um i have just been doing loads of stuff i have sounded well like cockney then i have just been doing loads of stuff to my blog um, i'm gonna give you guys a little sneak peek because i'm hoping by the time that this video goes live this vlog should be up so if i spin you around here it is um so obviously you've got like um all your little sort of categories here so you've got fashion so if you click on fashion then you get my fashion posts um it's in an editing mode which is why it's maybe a little bit weird click on travel and you get my all my travel posts um and then also what is really important which loads of you i'm sure are going to want to use is the shop section this wasn't really meant to turn into like a talk through of the blog but it's fine we can do that um so yeah the shop section so if you click on shop my instagram oh i need to fix that little bug anyway it should work by the time the blog goes up come on okay this is embarrassing <laughs> Here we go it's just loaded now so yeah if you click on shop my instagram it will work by the time the blog goes up um and you click on one of the images that you want to shop and then you have all the items here and if you literally click on one it will take you to the website um so yeah really really easy to use um and then not only do i have a shop my instagram i also have a shop my wardrobe so in shop my wardrobe is all the stuff that I wear all the time that people always ask me for links for so for example like my mom jeans white t-shirts leather jacket uh, my trackies converse all of that sort of thing so that's all in there um, so if you ever want to know where anything is like Doc Martens or anything that's there too um, and then I've also got my wish list so this is all stuff that I'm just loving at the moment I need to sort the layout on this a little bit but um, yeah this is just like my autumn winter wish list so if you guys are ever wondering sort of what I'm like wanting to buy and get my hands on and stuff and that is all in there um beauty i've got a beauty section as well so if you're ever wondering kind of what makeup i'm using or um anything like that any hair care products that is all there so again it's a really similar concept so you just click on it and it will take you to the page which is so super duper easy and simple um and i also have a section for my home um so yeah this is again my home wish list um, and you can look at my home Instagram account there and everything as well. And I'm working on something where you can shop my home Instagram uh, pictures. So yeah, I'm working on that. Um, so yeah, super, super simple. And then if you just click on blog, you will get all of my posts that I've got up there. So this is a 10 items you need in your autumn winter wardrobe. Um, so that should be a good one for you guys coming up. And yeah, that's pretty much it at the moment. There still needs to be a little bit of work done to it and stuff. And like I said, just a couple of like bug fixes and everything like that. Oh, actually another good feature I'm gonna show you. Hang on, let me whip you around again. So this section was something that I really, really wanted to have in it. And that's like a little search bar. Sorry, I think it's getting out of focus. Um, so if we just click on the search bar there and just type in say Manchester um, and search. This is a little bit slow because it's only just been put in, but there we go. So for example, if you just wanted to like quickly find a blog post, then um, that may be a good way of going about it. But I haven't got that many blogs on there, so it shouldn't be too hard at the moment. Um, but yeah, that is the site. So I really hope you guys like it. Obviously, you can access it on your mobile as well. I'll show you what it looks like on mobile. So this is it on your phone and it works in the exact same way. You can just click fashion and everything like that. Um, it's also got all my YouTube up there. So I am really, really excited about my blog. I just feel so proud. This has been like, God, like probably about six months in the making um, and I plan to be updating it all the time. I absolutely love writing. So I think I'm not gonna like struggle to update it. I think I'm gonna really enjoy it. So yeah. So now because I have worked really hard today, I've decided I'm gonna reward myself with a Nando's. Um, so I think we're gonna go there now and pick one up. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna get. I love the sunset burger in there if you've never had a sunset burger from nando's i fully recommend um i also really like the uh double chicken wrap i don't know we'll see see what i fancy um i'll take you guys along with me obviously and again i know i haven't spoken about my face yet i'm gonna speak about that i am um but i'm really hungry so i'm gonna get my nando's first so yeah 
<laughs> so we have made it to come pick up our Nando's. I honestly swear you guys must think I'm such a catfish because I just look a mess all the time in my vlogs. So I'm really sorry about that. Um, honestly, I look like just an absolute mess, but we're only picking up a Nando's, so it's fine. Um, I went for a double chicken wrap with extra halloumi. And then I also went for halloumi fries literally love the meat so much and some peri peri chips and obviously i'm going to show you it when we get it i've never been in here yeah it's a bit weird Just got some olives to eat while we wait. If you've never tried the Nando's olives, then I 100% recommend them. Actually, the best olives. So ever. nice. Yeah, they're so good. Thank you. That's brilliant. Yeah, that's Thank nice. you very much. I'm literally so cozy in this coat. Look at me. I'm like a big teddy. Jason. Oh, that's quite good. That camera would stay in there, actually. Let's see if it stays on now. Maybe hang on. No, Ooh. don't. If I put it over here, it can get us both in. Is that going to stay there? There we go. Oh, I look so funny in this coat. Right, where's the chips then? No, 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 no. <laughs> don't, don't, don't. Rude. <laughs> Whoa, why? Because you'll crack open a box now, you'll start eating them, and then you'll crack open mine when you get home. No, I won't. No, yeah, I'll give you the box that I've eaten. I know, exactly. <laughs> Sam, I had one had one chip that's it yeah so that just makes sure i actually didn't even open the box i managed to get it out i didn't i i got it out look see <laughs> oh, i stopped filming but you just snatched it off me <laughs> I've just done my makeup um, and I'm about to dry my hair and I'm gonna use my Dyson air wrap little baby um, so quite a few of you guys have been asking me for like a tutorial on this or like a review um, so I am gonna do that for you in like a separate video but for now um, I'm just gonna use the normal dryer to dry my hair and then I think I'm just gonna use the brush to kind of straighten it a little bit um, I'm not gonna use like the wrap thing just because in all honesty it is like horrible weather out there and I just think it's kind of pointless um, to do that so yeah just gonna use this dry my hair um, and I'll, I'll show you how I like use the brush and stuff um, and then I'm gonna get ready and also I want to show you what I got in Zara yesterday because I got a couple bits in Zara and also in other exciting news my new iPhone is coming today which I'm so excited about so um, I am going to get that and then I think I'm going to go into the Apple store um, because I need to like transfer all my stuff from this phone over to the new one which they can do quicker for you I'm pretty sure um, so yeah also I want to talk to you about what I had um, done to my face yesterday so obviously you guys know I went to face gym in uh, the Trafford Centre um, there's a couple in London I'm pretty sure um, and then that one in Manchester I'm not really sure where the others are um, if you just type in face gym like I'm sure they'll come up um, but it was really really cool and I would say if you're really interested in skincare you're like really really into your skincare then I would definitely recommend um, just checking them out like even like looking on their Instagram or something because it was just a really like innovative like technique that I'd never even thought about before is literally literally like massaging your face um, and like someone's like cutting their grass or something that's annoying let me close the window um, so yeah it's literally like massaging your face and using like all these different kind of techniques to essentially sort of tighten your face 
and make it feel sort of more plump and stuff. I don't really know the science behind it because I ain't very good at that sort of stuff. Um, but it was so interesting. They used like, first they used like a massage ball and stuff and also she was like really massaging like around my jaw and stuff and I could feel as she was doing it how many knots I had all in my jaw. And like you don't think that you do actually hold tension in your jaw. She also did this like a little electro light thing on my face. I'm literally describing this so badly. But you will have seen it. Or Will you have seen it? I don't know if I put it in. If I didn't put it in, I'll put a clip on screen now of it happening. It basically is like tiny little kind of like electric, like, I don't even know what to call them, but um, into your face. And they basically make your face kind of like twitch and like spasm, like involuntary, involun, involuntarily. Um, just like really, really cool. Um, and definitely afterwards, my face felt so much tighter and like plumper. It was just really, really interesting. So I would definitely recommend um, like checking them out if it is something you're interested in. Um, it's just so different and just something that I'd never really thought about in terms of skincare before. So anyway, without further ado, I'm gonna get on and dry my hair. Sorry for the awful explanation of that, but I'm really bad at like explaining things like that. But I do think it's best that you read it up um, online yourself if it does sound like something you're interested in or if you saw from the clips and you like quite fancy to look at it. But yeah, anyway, so I'm gonna dry my hair now, get ready, show you what I got from Zara and then I'm gonna head into town. I also have an event today um, with Look Fantastic. So that's just an hour event um, in the centre of Manchester. So I'm gonna pop in and see them as well. So yeah, a bit of a busy day, but let's get on with it. <laughs> dry it's not fully dry but that'll do um i've just been watching old vlogmases i've just been watching l darby's like vlogmas from last year it just came up on my homepage, and it has made me so excited for christmas i'm really excited for christmas now um i can't wait to be in our new house at christmas and i was actually just thinking maybe i will because i obviously did vlogmas last year but i did it like weekly vlogs um and i'm thinking maybe i'll do it like like one every two days. I don't know. I don't want to make any promises because I am quite bad at like sticking to a schedule as you guys will know who follow me on YouTube because sometimes I upload on a Sunday, sometimes a Monday, sometimes a Tuesday, sometimes like three times in a week and then the next week not at all. So yeah, um, but I don't know. I just thought I did love doing Vlogmas so much last year. Um, so we'll see. I might try and do some more. I'll definitely be doing it, that's for sure. Um, so anyway, and now I'm going to get ready. Or oh, I might try on the Zara stuff first because I might wear some of that. Um, today so let's go downstairs and try some of that stuff on okay so these are the bits that i picked up yesterday so i have a bag from h&m um i have a bag from zara two bags from zara actually and then inside here i also have a bag from topshop so this is actually quite a big haul here and this wasn't intentional but there we go um let's get into it shall we Okay, so these were the first things that I got from Topshop. So they are just some of these oversized joggers in this really, really nice kind of like marley light grey colour. Now, you guys know that I already own a pair of these from Topshop, um, but they are a darker grey. Um, so I wear these with literally everything, like white t-shirts, um, literally like hoodies, sweatshirts, whatever it is. They're so comfy just for chilling around the house and stuff. So I picked these ones up in a size small. So they were £25. And then also from Topshop, I picked up a white t-shirt. Topshop are my absolute go-to for white tees. They're just really good qual like quality um, and yeah, just really affordable. So this one was £10 and it's just a basic white tee. I'll link it down below. Um, but yeah, like I said, I don't really want to try that on yet because I've literally just done my makeup and I don't want to get it all orange. So that's that one. Okay, so next up we are on to Zara. So basically, oh my God, my voice. <laughs> I've got a bit of a sore throat still from my cold, but so my voice is a little bit weird. Um, but basically I have decided that I wanna kind of branch out of wearing jeans all the time because it seems like, for me, it just feels like all I ever wear is jeans in the winter. Um, so I found these trousers 
um, which I thought were just quite cool, a bit different. I've just realized the inside button's not done up. Hang on, let me do that quick. There we go. Um, so yeah, I just thought they were a little bit different. I don't have anything at all like this on my wardrobe. Um, and they're just like quite a nice length. They come to like just above the ankle. And I like um, the kind of elasticated waist with the kind of paper bag detailing. I'm gonna pop a belt on this, I think, just cause I think that will like tie in the black jumper better. Um, and I just think you could wear these with a pair of like high heeled black boots or even some trainers or something. I don't know, I'm gonna have a play around, but I really like them. And I tried on a few pairs and these were definitely my favorite. Um, I got them in an extra small and they were, $25.99 and then this jumper is from Zara I've just tucked it up but it's not actually that short um it's like about that length um so it's just a high neck black jumper nothing too exciting really apart from the fact it's very very soft um and I just quite like the shape of it really um so it's got these like kind of slightly puffy sleeves with a tighter cuff detail and I quite like that it was cropped because often I try and like tuck in my jumpers um and there's so much excess material so yeah I just sort of tucked that up like that and it works works really well. I think this was around $25.99 as well. So I also picked up another black roll neck. You can see I was trying to get some basics. Um, this one's actually from M&S and it, all it is is just a really, really simple ribbed tight roll neck just for layering and stuff. Um, so yeah, nothing too exciting there, but just thought I'd show you that because M&S are really, really good at basics like this. And it was £17.50. So next up, I picked up this shirt from H&M. Um, it's from their trend section. Um, I got it in a size small and it was £29.99. Um, it's got like quite tight cuffs at the bottoms um, and it's kind of like a bit of a weird shape. I don't know, I will show you this on um, at some point in the vlog, but I'm not gonna put it on now because I don't wanna get makeup all over it. Um, but it's kind of like an oversized and I had an idea of wearing it with this roll neck underneath um, and like some black jeans maybe, I don't know gonna give it a go and see how it looks. Okay, someone is mowing again outside, but um, I thought I'd show you this, I don't know. Um, this is the shirt I got from H&M. Um, I think obviously I haven't tucked it in very well. I've literally just did it really quickly. Perhaps I need to iron it as well, I don't know. Um, with the trousers and I was thinking maybe some black boots and like a coat of some sort, not sure. I do like the shirt though, I think it is a really nice shape, but I don't know how well it goes with the trousers, kind of feel like a little bit of like something like out of Oliver Twist, maybe. <laughs> it's not a t-shirt though, it's a shirt. Sorry, no. I feel like I look like I'm in Oliver Twist. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, Please sir, can I have some more? I don't know what Twist looks like. Like, an, like a street urchin. Have you not seen Oliver Twist? Like I a like Victorian it. boy. I like it. What about the jacket? What jacket with it? I don't know. I like it though. What jacket do you think? Okay, so I've paired this with a belt um, and I've put some of my jewellery on and stuff, done my hair properly um, and I'm going to put some black boots on and I think I feel a lot better about the outfit now. I think it actually looks quite chic. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I just keep having kind of like, I just, I don't know. I just feel really weird about clothes at the moment. I'm going to actually, I'm going to put you down and I'm going to chat to you two seconds. There we go, I'm gonna pick that and come chat. Um, I think I just feel like, I think it might be the change in seasons to be fair, um, but like I just feel a bit lost in terms of clothes at the moment. Like I don't really know what I like, I like trying outfits and I don't like them. And I, I think I've kind of lost my confidence a little bit with clothes. Um, like I just recorded a little clip then of me just like asking Sam what he thought about it. And he was like, I really like it. And I was like, oh, but this, but this, but this. And I'm like picking faults and everything. Um, I don't really know what it is. <laughs> And I, I don't know, I have just lost my confidence a little bit in like what I wear and stuff and I don't know, even when I go shopping I'm like I don't even know what I would pair this with, like I, I don't know, I just never normally feel like that. Um, but yeah, hopefully it comes back to me. I think it might be the seasons changing and like the weather being really really weird uh, and me just not really knowing like what kind of clothes work in that weather. Um, and also I think it doesn't help the fact that I am living in um, our friend's place and like I don't have a lot of my stuff. Okay, that was a really bad time for my camera to cut out. Um, but I have just charged up and I just went to have some lunch quickly as well. Um, I had salmon and veg for anyone wondering. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, I just feel like I've lost like a bit of confidence in what I wear and like just like putting outfits together. And I don't know, I just don't really seem to like anything at the moment and I just doubt myself all the time. So I wanted to like say that on here because I feel like I'm sure this is something that a lot of people feel and I, I don't know, I sometimes feel as though people think when you are like a fashion blogger or whatever it is that you want to call me, 
like you know 100% what to wear all the time, your like outfits are always on point, that like, everything always looks good and stuff, but actually that's not the case. Like there is a lot of the time where I like really doubt myself, I don't really like anything, I buy stuff, I buy like, hang on, this is dirty. No, I think we're all good. Um, yeah, sometimes I'll buy stuff and I won't actually get the wear of it that I thought I was gonna get the wear out of it. So I make mistakes with that in that sense. Um, so yeah, I don't know, just be feeling a little bit fed up, but I do think once the weather starts to get a little bit colder, um, and also we move into our new house and I can get all of my clothes up here and stuff, then I will feel better, hopefully, fingers crossed. But yeah, I am just in a bit of a, like a rut at the moment. Um, I feel like all I'm wearing is jeans and a jumper, jeans and a jumper, jeans and a jumper, and like I'm trying to get out of that. So this outfit is me getting out of it. Um, so don't you guys knock it because I've just said how I'm learning confidence. <laughs> anyway, I also wanted to say this little baby arrived. Da, da, da. So my new iPhone, is this the iPhone Pro? like it probably says it somewhere oh it doesn't is it oh yeah oh it just says iphone i think it's called the iphone pro um and obviously it arrives in this beautiful box i went for the black one um i was quite tempted to go for the green one but i thought i might go off it um so i currently have the iphone x which is this size so i went for the pro max um which has three cameras on it the smaller version has a three cameras on it too uh, but so far i've heard really really good things about it um in the sense that it is just like the camera is amazing it's got a wide angle and like all of that stuff so yeah i know other phones did have like wide angle beforehand however um oh wait did you get some airpods oh my god oh no wait Oh, they aren't AirPods. They're just normal ones. Um, however, like everything that I have is Apple, so I wanted to like stay with Apple. Um, although I have heard the cameras on like the Google Pixel and stuff are really good. But yeah. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to town now because I want them to transfer over all of my stuff because they can do it a lot quicker than like if I did it on like Wi-Fi. Um, and then I need to give this phone back in because I did a trade in. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna go to town now and do all of that, head to the event um, and probably just grab like a coffee or something or whatever in town and then come home. So let's go. Okay, so this is the finished look. So I've just added a belt, which is from Topshop. Um, oh, I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> Chew. Oh, are we good? So my bag, which is Fendi. Um, and then some black boots as well, which is Topshop. So when I add like a black belt or a black shoe, I always try and add like one or the other just to sort of tie it in together. Oh my God, I'm gonna sneeze again. <laughs> oh gosh, I still haven't recovered from this cold that I had last week. Um, but yeah, so that is the finished look and I'm feeling a lot more confident in this. And yeah, I think it actually looks quite cool. So let's go. So we are in town. We are just in the queue waiting to get into the car park. Got this one with me, say hello. <laughs> Sophie and Moody, say hello. Be friendlier. You're never Moody. Smile and wave. <laughs> da, 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 da. Oh, that feeling of peeling this off. Ah, so satisfying. Hola. everyone so <laughs> this is a flashback deja vu to last week so i haven't vlogged in like two days because i think you guys will remember in the vlog that i said what are you doing <laughs> in the vlog um earlier in the week of this vlog i said like oh i've got a bit of a sore throat and i think i've still got my cold and stuff and obviously i do still have my cold because look at my nose right now brilliant um i've literally spent the last two days in bed and i'm not going to go on about it because i obviously spoke about being ill in my last vlog um and i can't believe i'm ill again so quickly obviously i hadn't really got rid of that other cold um oh, yes please so i've been in bed for the last two days and now i'm sat here thank you eating cookie dough because what else to do when you're in life. But anyway, yeah, I haven't vlogged because I just didn't want to go on it about it because I just thought, oh my God, how boring that you guys have to listen to me being ill again. So... You said I have to listen to it. Yeah, but that's just your job. It comes in the job description of being a boyfriend. 
Um, but yeah, I'm feeling a bit fed up that I'm ill again because I literally was ill like this last week. I spent like two days in bed last week. But there we go, not gonna go on about it. I'm gonna go to the doctor, I think, and have some blood tests because I think, I don't know, maybe I'm like lacking in like iron or like a certain vitamin or something, so, like maybe vitamin D or like B12 or I don't know. So I'm gonna go to the doctors. I'll let you know what they say um, in my next video and stuff. Um, I haven't even registered with the doctors up here yet though, so I need to do that. Um, so yeah, that has been me for the last two days, which is a shame. I never went to the event um, because I just wasn't well um, and I haven't shown you the new iPhone or anything like that yet. So I am, fingers crossed, praying that tomorrow morning I wake up and I feel better and then I'm going to talk to you about the new phone. I haven't even swapped it over. That's how like ill I've been. Like I'm still on my ex because I just haven't even swapped it over yet. Um, so yeah. This is my life. It's so annoying. But I'm not complaining because there are people that are way worse off than me. Like, this is just a cold. So, I literally can't complain at all. So, anyway, I will catch up with you guys on Friday, which is tomorrow. So, fingers crossed that I wake up in the morning and I feel a lot better. And I'm so sorry. This is so repetitive. Like, I promise you, this will be the last vlog that I'm ill. Fingers mm. crossed. <laughs> yeah, for another week. Um, I think I've just been a bit unlucky, basically. And I've probably been quite stressed and stuff, so it's probably not really helped the situation. Um, I just need to start probably taking better care of myself. So, yeah, anyway, I'll catch you guys up in the morning. And hopefully my nose has gone down because I'm actually Rudolph right now. Oh, you know when you have a cold and you forget how good it is? Like, you take for granted how good it is to be able to breathe through your nose. That is the worst thing about having a cold, I think. It's just like, I just want to breathe. But anyway, I'm going to go before I ramble on too much. And sorry that I'm ill again. And sorry that it's featuring another vlog. And it's so annoying. I know. I just finished recording that. And I actually just thought I wanted to quickly come on here and say, I'm really sorry if you guys feel as though I've been like quite moany in my vlogs recently. So obviously, um, this vlog, I've just spoken to you about not feeling very well. And then the vlog before, I was also ill. And then the vlog before that, I know I spoke about my mum being ill and me going to hospital and stuff. And like, I was just thinking back and I was thinking, you guys just from watching those little snippets of my life must think I'm such a moaner um, because I just come on the vlog and pretty much moan. But I'm really not at all. Like, I honestly really don't moan that much. I actually am like quite a positive person and stuff and I like rarely like moan about stuff. But it just so happens that every single bloody week that I vlog, something like this happens and obviously like I'm gonna show you all of my life so I'm not just gonna hide things although I couldn't actually hide this red nose um <laughs> but yeah I really really hope you guys don't feel fed up and stuff because sometimes I do watch other people's vlogs and I like if they're like moaning quite a lot it's like put you in a bit of a bad mood so I really really hope that isn't what I'm doing to you um and yeah it just has just been unlucky that the weeks that I've been vlogging bad stuff's happened um well not bad but you know what I mean maybe the vlog is cursed um no I'm sure it's absolutely fine but yeah I just wanted to add that onto the end because I hate the thought of people thinking that I moan about stuff because I really really don't and like I really do try and be like really positive all the time um and I am quite a positive person and I don't like moaning at all because I just think like there's so many worse things that could happen to you in life um and like I don't know I just see life in like a different perspective and stuff uh so i don't know i hope you get what i'm saying but overall i'm sorry if me being ill has just been annoying for you because trust me it's been annoying for me too um so <laughs> yeah that's why i decided not to vlog these last few days because i was just like there's no point like vlogging when i'm poorly so anyway now i will officially leave you and catch up with you guys tomorrow bye hey guys so it is friday morning um i am feeling a little bit better than when i last spoke to you which was last night um so I have just got ready, done my hair, I mean I say done my hair, I literally just tied it back because it's quite greasy. Um, done my makeup and just put on an all black outfit just because it is such miserable weather out there and obviously I'm not feeling 100% so I'm just like really not in the mood to try and think about what to wear. Um, but I wanted to show you my Zara home order that came. Right, so I got this big old box from Zara, obviously. And actually, I didn't order that much. It's only like three um, kind of like vases or jugs. Um, but I think they're quite big. Right, so this one. Zara has such eco-friendly packaging as well. There's no plastic whatsoever. Um, this one is just this like terracotta jug. And I can get it out. Hang on. How cute. Oh my god, it literally looks like something I could have made in clay. 
glass, but there we go. <laughs> so this is it, and it's just like I said, this like terracotta jug. Just thought it was really, really nice as like a bit of a decorative piece on some shelves or something. You could maybe pop like a few flowers in there or something. Like I wouldn't actually use this. Um, it would just purely be for decorative purposes. But yeah, so that's that one. I'm trying to remember how much they were because the prices aren't on here. I think this one was around 25 99 something like that. Um, it's actually a little bit smaller than I expected, but that's fine. Um, so yeah, that's that. Actually, I'm going to wrap this back up so that I can transport it to our new house easy. There's loads of like really cool sort of like rustic -y things in Zara at the moment. Uh, oh, this one's a bit bigger than I thought. Okay, so... Again, on the similar vibe as the last one, but this, oh wow, I love that. Oh, that is so nice. So just like this like really, really nice kind of stone gray color. I mean, it kind of looks like an urn, but um, it's not. Uh, just like another sort of vase jug thing. Again, I just think, oh, I haven't, obviously I've done it back up, but I think they'd look like really nice together um, on the same sort of set of shelves maybe. I don't know, just really liked it. I thought it was, quite different and um, I don't think that looks way more expensive than it was so yeah I will link all of this down below as well of course oh, wow god they're so like rustic so this is the next one so it's just this black one so like I said they are really similar um, all just different colours and like shapes and styles and stuff so yeah that's that one obviously has like a bit of like distressing and like all of that detail so yeah really really like that and again like i said i think they're all gonna look really really good together so then i'm gonna just pop them away somewhere for safekeeping until we move house which is about a month away now um so yeah well it's a month until we get the keys and then obviously we're decorating and stuff so it probably will be about six weeks before we can actually move in so i'm gonna get on with my work now oh also i want to show you the change of um photos in the old phone and the new phone so i'll do that now hang on let me just grab the other phone i still haven't swapped over yet because i've just not been very well so two seconds okay so i took the exact same photo of my boyfriend um on the iphone the two iphones hang on it's not loading there we go so i'm sure my boyfriend won't mind me showing you these close-up shots of him Actually, you're just going to get the reflection on you. There we go. Okay, so obviously the smaller phone is the iPhone X um, and the bigger one is the new one. So hopefully you guys can see the difference. Like this one is just so much clearer and the colours are so much better. I don't know how well this is picking up on camera. It's probably not picking up that well. Um, another really cool feature of that phone is that it does a wide angle. So can you see that? So this is obviously my view now and this is the wide angle so how cool is that um so this is what it would be like on a normal phone and then this is the wide angle and then that's extra zoomed in So it is Saturday evening now, sorry, totally forgot what day it was, um, and I've just been watching uh, football today, watching my boyfriend play football, so yeah, so I didn't like vlog anything like that, um, and actually I'm going to finish this vlog here just because the like rest of the weekend, like tomorrow, I'm just going to edit and I might put this one up on Sunday or maybe Monday. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed it and there'll be more vlogs and stuff coming from me. Hopefully there's going to be some moving content soon. Um, probably maybe in the next couple weeks. So yeah, look out for that and some furniture shopping and like everything like that. So that should be fun. Um, also I put my blog live last night. So if you do want to check it out, then you can just type www.rubyholly.com into your browser. Um, or I will also leave the link down below as well. So you can click on that. Have a little look. I've got loads of blog posts up there already um, and I'm going to keep sort of getting more out and stuff. So yeah, really, really exciting. I'm so, so happy that's live. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.